back to the BFB podcast. I'm your host, Savadon Smith, and thank you all for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this with a friend. If you're watching over, or rather listening over in our audio platforms, then make sure you leave us a great rating and leave us a comment and let us know how you think about the show. Let us know how you feel. So I am, <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna this is gonna be fun because I actually have to re-record this a second time because the first time when I was recording this, my let me move this camera back a little bit. Um, just y'all getting me, y'all getting some fixes as I do this. All right, cool. That's that looks a lot better. So the reason why I have to redo this now, and it's gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna come off a lot more freer this time. I'm probably gonna go a little bit more off the cuff than last time because my part of me was looking like it was fading because of the chroma key I had set up. I didn't set it up right. So because of that, I had to re-record the whole video because y'all have been looking at me like, is this man disappearing or something? So. Yeah, and this is for those of you who are watching on YouTube, you're getting a, a, a better visual. I probably had the visual of what it looked like, you know, as I'm talking right now and switch it back. But I wanted to talk to you all about a tweet that I sent out back on the 12th earlier this week. Today is July 14th. So this is going up. The, this I'm recording this the day before. So y'all getting this fresh. All right. So back on July 12th, I tweeted in a world of high speed Internet, instant gratification, and streamline systems to create content, learn the art of taking your time. Now, first off, I wanna to apologize to you all for um, not having a video up last week. Um, I had the video planned, the idea was gonna be solid in my opinion, and it probably would've got the channel quite a few views because I was gonna talk about Cleflo Dollar and his revelation if you will or his clarification rather of tithing and for those of you who have been to church for those of you who still go to church but for those of you in general who just know about tithing this is pretty much of a hot topic because this is something that has been mistaught for a very long time and for him to come out and say burn every book get rid of every book that is not in line with what he's saying now it took it showed character in my opinion it showed a lot of good character and the video last week wasn't going to even be about him it was going to be just more so a deeper dive teaching on tithing because i do believe this is something that should be taught in its proper context and why we should um have a better understanding of giving in the church rather than just giving out of impulse or giving out of fear, which a lot of people still do today. Um, I was talking with a good brother of mine, which I will be on this podcast soon, which I gotta get back to mom. I gotta check over the editing, that's on, that's on me. Sorry, my bad, yo. Um, I gotta check on, his, on that podcast, but me and him were having a conversation and we were like, you know, we, it, he didn't know that a lot of people were deceived through tithing and I was one of them. I was one of the people who who was. So I'm not gonna focus too much on that because that was gonna be last week's video. The reason why I changed my mind to not release that video on Monday was because I saw that when I looked at his sermon, his sermon was, his sermon title was the exact same title I was gonna name the video. And just out of respect, I don't desire for anyone to believe that my video would have been to get more views off his video or the keyword search for his video. It's like, I saw that and I'm like, you know what? Just to be, just for my conscience and just for, just out of respect's sake and just to make it seem like I'm not coming against him or anyone else who was teaching tithing incorrectly. Let me just go ahead and sit this back and just, you know, take my time with different things. And that's kind of like what I want to focus on in this video, the importance of just taking your time. Um, we live in such a high speed world. Sometimes we don't understand that not taking our time could be at the sacrifice of common decency for other people. And that's where I want to get into this because 
if you look back, let's just say about 20 years ago, like let's go back to 2002, right? This is where you had cable and DSL internet, right? And for those of you who remember that, that, that internet was miles ahead of having dial-up 56K modems, which for those of you who remember a the AOL days, you know what I'm talking about. But that was even just having cable, even having cable internet back then and DSL, that still wasn't the fastest internet compared to what we have now. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, even though you had cable internet and you know DSL, it still, it still was miles, miles below. Like, let me tell you something. Um, back when I used to do sales and I used to sell um, Verizon FiOS, yo, check this out. The high speed internet, which was called HSL, was different from FiOS. It was just like you get, you giving, you selling people DSL internet over FiOS. And files was ridiculously faster than that. So in many cases, it's like we have jumped up in terms of internet speed to the point where, I don't know if you all remember this, but back in the day where if you wanted to watch a YouTube video and your internet speed wasn't the best, you had to pause the video for about like 30 seconds or a minute just so it could buffer out enough so you could watch the whole video. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's just me who remembers that, but in those days, you had to do that. And now today, you don't even have to do that if you got a good cell phone. I got a, I got a Galaxy S10, and this phone still holds up very well when it comes to data internet and, and um, Wi-Fi internet. And the fact that we even got Wi-Fi, like I don't have to be locked into my computer to have a high-speed experience with the internet. I could get that same experience on my phone. And while this is all good, it may seem it's all good, and there's so many pros to this in the immediate moment, right? I become a bit concerned about the long run. Um, shout out to my brother, Curtis King. Um, he recommended this book on one of his live streams. And one thing about me, if, if I'm cool with you, and if you recommend a book that's in line with my beliefs, I'm going to take a look at it. And it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I got the audio book, so in many, many times when I'm in either working out or I'm take, you know, taking a quick snack, I'm hitting rewind a lot on this because there's so much good information on that book. And it it really I'm gonna pull this up because I had to take the take take notes on this that just it blew my mind about like how big small changes can be and like how much of an effect they can have, you know, on our lives. Um, for those of you who like to travel, excuse me if I'm looking through my phone, I'm just literally seeing if I can pull this up uh, really fast so I can just give you all um, just the, ex the example that I wanted to, to, to give with this. But um, if you look back at this, this was on, few days ago all right so if you if you was to travel from LAX to JFK right that's what I want to see I want to make sure I got it right LAX to JFK and you just changed the heading to 3.5 degrees south on a plane if um, just by that little little bit of much you could barely tell the difference you would land in DC rather than New York City and that stuck with me because the author went into this direction, but my mind immediately went into the direction. So what's to say when you do that with your life? What would happen if you was to start making some changes throughout your life, some really small changes throughout your life, and literally you will see yourself land in a whole different spot than intended. And this could be good or bad, if you just make a small change and practice that change from now to the end point of your life. And I thought about my life in general. I thought about some habits that I have and I'm like, you know what? I can, I can make some better habits to create better com so I create better compounding habits that would overall increase my, my quality of life tenfold. 
And I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's good that I take my time because when, it, when I look at social media, when I look at YouTube and how content is created and how it's created just so fast, I think about it. I'm like, how, how sustainable is this? What are the cons of this? I see the pros of having a YouTube channel. I see the pros of being able to surf the internet and get all this information that we can get at the snap of a fingers. But like slow cooking is to cooking in the microwave, are we sacrificing quality and textures in order to get an immediate and convenient result? And that's why I'm deciding to just start taking my time a little bit more. Just throughout life, I'm not gonna rush things anymore. And I'm learning just from this week alone. I just started applying things this week alone. I feel a whole lot better. I started applying a bedtime for myself because I would work and work and work and work through the midnight hour. And now I decided to put a bedtime where whatever isn't done by this time, that's it. It's just not done for today. It's going to have to wait till the next day. And I may have different weekend hours, but during my work week hours, I know I got to get up for work the next day. And I know I want to make it to gym, to the gym before I go to work. I need to get to bed by, by a certain time and a good amount of time so I can wake up in the morning, pray and have a good fulfilling day. So I just want to just encourage you all to take your time. You don't have to rush. You don't have to hit a certain your goal in the same day or in the same week, the same month or even the same year. What's the rush? More than likely there isn't. More than likely what you're rushing to doesn't need to be accomplished right, right away. I get it. There are some time sensitive things and there's respect for that. But I don't think we need to be rushing as a, as a human race in almost everything that we do. We're, we are moving way too fast. And I just say I say that because when I look at social media and when you see like people pass away, when you see things happen in, in that like injustices happen when people are killed, it's like we move on too fast because we have a habit, which is why I love that book. We have a habit of moving on too fast. We have a habit of doing things the fastest way. So just want to leave you all with don't be afraid to take your time with a few things because you never know. Um, now I'll just show y'all. I got, I got, I, I like to cook a, a little bit here and there, so I'll, I'll show y'all. You never know. You may be able to cook yourself some jerk chicken that tastes phenomenally good, so good that you can't get that same type of quality if you was, dare I say, cooking it in the microwave. So. I just want to thank you all for taking the time to listen to me and to watch. Ironically, this version is longer than the last one. The last one was about 10, 11 minutes. I'm going on 15 minutes already, but I felt like I just had more to say this time. Maybe maybe it was meant for me to go ahead and re-record this, which I'm okay with. Take my time. And I saw this, this, there's habits that I've been cleaning up about myself. We're just taking up my time with, and it's, it's perfect. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm loving this. So thank you all for watching. If you all enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this with a friend. This is Avadon, and I'm out. Take care, y'all.